Here's another thing I wanted to point out about replacing that inverter pump, which is on my other video. Um, if you just want to hear what that sounds like, just that pump, only that pump, you're going to take this cap off this thing. You don't have to do this, but you're going to watch visually. You're going to see the, the flow of the water. You're going to go in. You're going to leave the key in the car if it has a smart key or whatever. You're not going to touch the brake, and you're just going to push this twice. So it gets to that point where, where that lights up. Okay? So push it twice. That makes this pump start to start to flow. So this noise is what a brand new ASIN pump sounds like. It's just a whirring sound. It's a motor. This has nothing to do, this pump has nothing to do with the sounds of the valve that is, that takes hot coolant from the engine and stores it in the storage tank so that when you go start your car in the morning, it uses that hot coolant, that valve opens again, and it pumps it back and it pumps it back into um, the engine. That's why that coolant storage tank is there, and that's that valve that goes doot, 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 doot. Those things fail a lot, but that thing will not leave you stranded. So don't worry about the noises. And those things, they make noises even when they're brand new and working right. Do not worry about the noises on that thing. Don't worry about the check engine light from that thing. Carry a code reader in your car if it talks about that coolant valve. It is not going to leave you stranded. You just keep driving. This one, however, does have to do with cooling this. And now you can hear it and you can also see it. If you look down in there with your eyes, you will see that water's, the coolant is moving. That's the inverter coolant. That pump is on right now. So when you replace it and you let air in the system, take the cap off, turn it on like this for a few minutes, and that bleeds the system. Pretty simple. If you want to change the coolant, there's a whole process for that, but this is how you do it. This is how you bleed it. But yeah, and there's the valve that makes, that's the thing that makes all the noises with the but. Right now, that's the only one making noise, is that pump. You can see the pump working. Everything's good.